Seven Cedars Resort has been around for nearly 30 years on Washington's Olympic Peninsula in the little town of Squim. It's always been a popular native casino, which recently expanded to include an impressive 100-room hotel with plenty of conference and event space. The location is very scenic, but also remote. A nice break from the hustle of Seattle, and the remote location is one of its many draws. However, being off the beaten path also presents a challenge when it comes to reliable cellular wireless connectivity. We're, we're kind of in a basin, uh, as you probably noticed uh, when you drove in, uh, uh, surrounded by mountains, and, and then of course there's this, uh, the sea or the bay coming in. Beautiful, but it wasn't beautiful for, uh, for uh, signal or, or phone coverage and technology. We experience what I think a lot of rural properties across Washington and really across the entire nation experience, and that is no cell phone coverage. You know, it gets covered up the, the major interstate corridors really well. But once you branch off a little bit, it drops out to effectively nothing. And geographically where we're at, we had no coverage. It was a safety issue, it was a communication issue, it was a marketing issue, and we were looking to expand that. We happened upon Geoverse kind of by accident in that there are a lot of companies that do DAS solutions, which is bring external cell phone signal into a big commercial building. The link to Geoverse came via Agility, a company specializing in custom AV systems. On the go, Agility head of sales Kevin Hill has been working with Seven Seaters for nearly two decades. One of the first projects we ever did for them was Club Seven, which is their kind of nightclub, uh, sports lounge, that type of thing. Uh, we did all their distributed audio throughout the years. Then we actually did a little project with with uh, Geoverse prior to Seven Seaters, just kind of see how it would go and how the partnership would work, and it went real well. And so they uh, continue to ask us to keep coming in and do these jobs. Geoverse was all in. They were committed, and they showed us from the very beginning that they were going to take us by the hand and, and, and make sure that our journey together was going to be a success and that we were going to be ex exponentially happy at the end of the day. Geoverse goes about it a little different way. And when they brought cell phone over fiber to us, it didn't amplify poor signal and just rebroadcast it. They actually gave us fresh, clean, really usable, really fast signal, and allowed for a lot of analytics on the back end for it. We've had no problem with dropouts. We've had a huge reduction in the amount of people using my Wi-Fi. So, Anytime I can get people off of the Wi-Fi and onto a cell carrier network to do what they're trying to do here, you know, it just expands room for everybody. It gives everybody a little bit more leg room and room to breathe. We've had, you know, almost zero problems with it. And the problem that we did have was carrier specific. It was not Geoverse. The coverage benefits customers to be sure. And the mobile applications are many and varied. We all use apps and we all get notifications on our apps. So by having a signal now that works, if we have a venue that wants to promote, uh, maybe they're not quite as busy at the, at the lunch hour and they want a little more uh, traffic, uh, they maybe will throw on a fire sale and they'll flash it out to all the folks that have uh, opened up their notification on their apps and, and Katie bar the doors, uh, they, they, uh, they get communicated with. Well, I think mobile betting is gonna be coming a big part of our gaming space. So when you get into mobile betting and the integrity thereof, so I think uh, mobilization or uh, banking is an example that people are having more and more confidence throughout the world. And it's the same thing when it comes to gaming, you know, so mobile gaming will be coming part of it, whether it's sports betting or really just any other activity you have inside the, the slot bettings and everything like that. So you're going to see the use of those mobile devices more and more. Uh, and I can say right now, sports betting has kind of got everybody's uh, attention. The daily operation of the resort was also in need of a major upgrade. Hotel manager Debbie Wardrop remembers how it used to be. We had no reception in the building, no reception in the area, and you would come into the area and it was dead. <laughs> you actually could not talk on a cell phone what at all. Did, what did you do? Uh, you would walk around until you could find a place that you might be able to talk to somebody, or you would just have a quiet zone or you would keep walking yeah, huh. or driving. Uh, I often would drive to another place in the parking lot. <laughs> you 
Yes, it was pretty bad. Orion Labs is the third company involved in the wireless transition. It fills Seven Seater's need for in-house communications and more. The importance of having that 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 highly resilient private LTE based network is having a smart device that functions on that. But it's not just for phone calls or text messaging, but it becomes a critical communication device that the team members and the supervisors rely upon to collaborate amongst each other. And so with the Orion service, leveraging that instant connectivity that a smart device running on the Geoverse network provides, we're simply just a push button away from team members communicating with each other, uh, from dispatchers, from a centralized location, being able to communicate out to the staff members, and for those lone workers to, you know, with a push of a button, call for help when, when an emergency arises. Um, and so the way we use it uh, might be helpful to understand of, uh, you know, we're, we're short on sheets, we're short on towels, and so uh, the rooms manager will call up and say, Can we get more sheets to floor five, please? Uh, that's the, the tool that we use to, uh, to get them to bring them to the hotel. Or um, from uh, the, the guests have checked out, uh, the front desk can communicate to say, we've had these guests check out and so now these rooms are ready to be cleaned. Uh, so it's a, it's a communication back and forth and it goes on all day long. Uh, so it's a, it's a wonderful tool that uh, allows us to do our job. The service has been everything they said it would be, but two, it made us a better company. And I think uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the responsibility of uh, all management and, and people in my position. Uh, can you make your company better? Can you serve your guests better? And Geoverse did just that very thing. I put this in the home run category. Uh, really, quite frankly, even a grand slam because the difference in what we had and what we have now is incredible. So in summary, Seven Seaters has a dedicated indoor cellular network that spans the entire resort, supports multiple carriers, and a number of back-of-the-house applications to better run the business. The visionaries at Seven Seaters are leaders in technology in the tribal gaming community, and private cellular network was a key component for them. From Agility to Orion Labs to Ericsson, Google, and RF Connect, this team of partners made this project a success and together offer an innovative solution that is ultimately better for the customer and can serve their needs for the long term. Together, along with the amazing people at Seven Seaters, this project can serve as a model for other real-world deployments with private cellular and compelling use cases. We thank again our partners and the great people of Seven Seaters and encourage you to make a visit if you're in the area.